Hi everyone, hope you're having a nice day. Today I'm going to show you my unesthetic desk tour because I've been seeing a lot of videos recently of people showing their beautiful work from home desk setups and all that kind of thing and don't get me wrong, my desk setup isn't too bad at the moment but it's not as beautiful and aesthetic as I'd like it to be. I would like it to be a very cosy, warm, tidy space. There's a few bits that I'd like to invest in in the future, but for now I have a couple of kind of makeshift solutions to problems and things like that, so it's definitely bearable for now. So this is the chair that I normally sit on. It is a kneeling chair. Yes, it is backwards because if I sit on it the correct way, so spin that round, it's a little bit too short for my desk, which is not ideal as you can imagine. Under my desk I have a couple of yoga blocks, just putting my feet on, but I would like to get one of those soft footstools or something, just to feel a little bit more luxurious than two yoga blocks. So if we take a seat at my desk, this is my desk setup. I have my camera because I stream. So this is, what is this, Canon M50 Mark II maybe? It came with this microphone. Originally my intention was to take this camera down and film with this camera when I was making YouTube videos, but it's so much of a faff that I've just kind of left it there and the microphone has just happened to stay there, even though that's not the one that I use for streaming. <laughs> This is the microphone that I use for streaming. It's a H4n something or other. The screen that I'm using is actually an old TV, which is great in terms of screen space, but I personally find it a lot easier with a dual monitor setup. So that's something I'm gonna look into fixing at some point. So I also have more yoga blocks, which I am using as like a makeshift monitor riser. The color is in keeping with the general brown coffee vibe I'm trying to go for. So a problem that I have with this desk I bought the legs separately, so it's a standing desk, and then I bought the tabletop from Ikea, it's meant to be a dining table, but the problem is that it has a beveled edge. I can't actually clamp things to the desk because this bit juts out a little bit too much. This region is uh, very rustic, shall we say. I'm using an old folder as another kind of riser, but it's very flimsy. So I pushed it out with a couple of books that I have. Not ideal, but it makes do for now. I also have this little thermometer, just to kind of, I don't know, keep track of the temperature and the humidity. Obviously I have my microphone set up back here. It's not ideal because my microphone is on the right hand side and my camera is on the left hand side. So when I'm streaming sometimes, there is a kind of bias towards right hand audio, or is it left hand audio? Because the microphone and camera aren't together. I guess long term, I would probably like to have the microphone and the camera together, maybe just off center. But at the moment, it's not really possible to make that work. These are my headphones that I started modifying and it resulted in me taking off the foam bit. So this has no padding. So it's quite uncomfortable after I've worn it for a couple of hours. So I had to buy an extender for my headphones because if I put this into the standing position, you can kind of see how short this cable is. I was really tethered to this side of my desk. So this was definitely an improvement. I can't remember any details about this computer, however, it has served me well so far, touch wood, and it's quite pretty. I don't know, I'll put the name of whatever this stuff is on the screen because I can't remember it right now. <laughs> so now we're in the standing position, this is a good time to talk about cable management. It's not very pretty, I would like it to kind of be all enclosed. Obviously things like my laptop cable are just hanging, but I am proud of myself for doing this kind of master cable setup. Everything that goes into the back of my computer I kind of tied together with these um, reusable zip ties so it kind of all goes up in one big cable. But I would definitely recommend because they're relatively cheap and they're reusable and also they don't damage the cables themselves. For my keyboard I have this old Steel Series mechanical keyboard that I just bought new keycaps for. The only thing that doesn't fit is the enter key. 
the set that I bought didn't have that shape. So I ended up just putting this spare alt key just to cover up the hole that was there. <laughs> This is a wrist rest that I accidentally stole from my last job because I forgot to give it back. <laughs> and recently I bought this Logitech vertical mouse, which I've been enjoying using. I accidentally broke my old one, but I quite like this because it's very quiet on the clicks. Um, unfortunately, the keyboard is still quite loud, but eventually I would like to maybe get some quieter switches for this keyboard just so that it's a little bit less aggressive and this is my old macbook pro from i think 2015 very much on its last legs this is my kind of second screen almost and i have it on this laptop stand because sometimes i will move this and then i can bring stuff in front like this which is quite useful when I'm drawing sometimes. Sometimes I have my tablet just leaning against this wrist rest, but sometimes it's nicer to have it a bit kind of elevated. So sometimes I use this for that. And the tablet that I've got, which is conveniently just shoved in this hole, I think it's Wacom Intuos. Obviously, as you can see, it's just a standard non-screen tablet. I also have an iPad Pro, and I do find that easier to work with, if I'm honest, but I don't think I'm doing too badly with my hand-eye coordination with the Wacom. Eventually, I think it's every artist's dream to have one of the, like, the massive Cintiq screen tablets where it's like a monitor itself and, uh. So at the back here we have this salt lamp and a little baby orchid that I bought the other week, which I thought was very cute. Oh, and obviously I have a ring light up there, which again is not the ideal position for it. Ideally, it would be more towards the center. And I also recently bought this desk mat. It's still not quite unrolled itself at the edges. It's just nice not having to have a mouse mat. It's just very comfy and I like it. And that's kind of it for this desk setup. I feel like it's quite simple. Visually, it would be nice to get rid of the stands because it does clutter it up quite a bit. My vision for my desk eventually is to have like a nice monitor stand that goes along the whole back, a dual monitor setup, and then have my camera, microphone and light all kind of rigged together behind the monitors. That would also raise up the salt lamp and the plant. It would give me more cubby holes to kind of put my keyboard away at the end of the day and things like that. And obviously, of course, I would like to redo my cable management at some point. And I would like to get a better footrest because my yoga blocks just look a bit sad, don't they? So yeah, that is my desk setup. Let me know what you think. It does the job, which I think is the most important thing. Functionality wise, it's fine. But for now, I'm trying to keep things as cheap as possible. And obviously tech and desk stuff and chairs, it's all very expensive. Whatever I can get by with what I have, I'll just get by with what I have. Let me know if you have any ideas for how I can make my setup better. I have a lot of ideas, but obviously it's, it's always nice to get an outside opinion because sometimes people think of things that you would never think of yourself. I think end goal for me is I want a desk that is tidy, functional, a kind of warm and inviting place and cozy. Eventually I would love to do a video where I have my perfect setup and it's all beautifully done and arranged and what have you. But for now I thought it was worth showing you how it looks as it is. Like nothing's perfect and my desk setup is no different. But I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you in the next one. Bye!